cool. So I, what I loved about that story was, you know, and I think a lot of people go to HBCUs. Yeah. That's what's so beautiful about the experience is that you just don't know who is going to be your lifelong friend, yep. which person is going to be somebody that's going to set you up for who knows what. So talk to us, take us back here to, what, what years were you here? 88 to 92. 88 to 92. But I stayed a little longer. Stayed a little longer. Yeah, you know, it, we're going to say you, it stayed in you a little longer. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. I hung around. I graduated. I graduated. But I, you know, I hung around. You don't have to leave. I mean, that's, that's, and that's what I want to bring that's up. That's what I'm saying. Talk about the HBC, yeah. HBCU experience. Like, why do we stay around so long? I would have stayed in Hampton for five, you six years if I could have. You know? So talk to us about the HBCU experience. I know it's been a lot, yeah. uh, uh, getting a lot of coverage in the last few years. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, for those who know, those of us who've been there and understand that, we've, we've always known how dope HBCUs are. So talk to us about your experience and why that, you know, HBCU was so important for you to uh, go to? Well, I, I actually come from HBCU lineage. Awesome. Like, awesome. my mother and my father went to Clark. You cool. know what I'm saying? My brother went to Morehouse. My sister went to Clark. My other sister went to Howard. My wife went to Howard. So that's all I know. Right, Like, right. I was the first baby on the campus. I don't remember it, but I have pictures to prove that I was the baby that they carried around at Clark University wow. down in Atlanta. Wow. So it's in my blood, man. And so I really didn't. I, I applied to other schools. Mm -hmm. I already knew. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. I did it just from an ego perspective. Yeah, I got in the Temple. Yeah, I got yeah, in the Penn State. Just, yeah, so I already I knew I was coming to an HBCU. Yeah. And then, because of the experience, there's nothing like it in the world. The network is, is ridiculous. You can go anywhere in the world and you find somebody that went to an HBCU and it's all automatically like family from the moment y'all meet. And you could be meeting for the first time. And I think you hit it on the head, man. It's about these lifelong relationships that you have. Like the people that are my friends, I've known them since I was a kid. You yeah, see what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. And so they've seen all your ups, your downs, your trials, your tribulations. They've gone through the circles, and it's everything is relatable, man. So you know when you have conversations, it's easy. It's easy to have because you, you have this common bond. You right, know what I'm saying? Right. And it never leaves you, man. So you know, so all the kids out there, you know what I'm saying? Especially cats that are of our ilk. I would encourage you to go to an HBCU because you have lasting, long life friendships and family that will last your family. You heard, man, he said it. Keep the